Hey. Okay, here we go, Drew. What's up, everybody? Good morning. Welcome to a Saturday game day edition of Morning Scone presented by Boudreaux's. Bloody Mary mix, margarita mix. What a great day to pour you some Hi. Boudreaux's. Hi, Drew's here, fired up. Slept until 7 o'clock last or this morning, so we actually got a little bit of rest, which is uh, whew, not often that happens. But I ain't complaining. Even if I did, y'all wouldn't care. Uh, Trampus, good morning. Dax, Trivia, Chuck, Blaine, Chris, good morning, everybody. Hi. Mark, Ryan, hi. Uh, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Did you flip it already? Okay. Uh, Coach Ken, good morning. Justin, good morning. Oh, let me hit uh, time for Scone, Drew, and Robert. He's already got Robert on, dude. He woke up going, oh, uh, Robert. He's actually been saying Robert better, so he's been doing better with that. Uh, I'm going to hit the share button. Hopefully, y'all will do the same. Uh, what's up, Drew? And I guess Matt. Thank you, Mark. But I get it. Uh, Chris, good morning from Atlanta. Go Tigers. Appreciate that. And Lenny, what's up, man? Lauren Anderson, good morning. Mark Brady, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, man, we can uh, talk about a lot. Let this build a little bit. Um, LSU, Mississippi State, game day. Some good games today around college football. Robert. Very good. Robert. Very good, Drew. He's chanting Robert's name. You going to play some guitar for us, bud? Yep, there it is. That was good. That was beautiful. Wow, that was beautiful, Drew. Thank you. Two. Huh? Okay. <laughs> Y'all are crazy, man. Y'all are a great part of my morning, man. Oh, let's see, Jonathan Greer, good morning. Um, wear curl? Rusty Richard, wear curl? I don't know what that means, man, sorry. Damon, good morning from North Carolina. Robert Plant, uh, not quite. Um, Hines, can't wait to see, or Marsha, can't wait to see Hines and Simmons battle today. Yeah, uh, Hines is going to get the start at, uh, at left guard, true freshman. He'll be he'll be matched up on uh, on Simmons some today, uh, for sure. Um, I don't know that I'm super stoked about the prospects of a true freshman going against a guy that's going to be a first round draft pick, but uh, you know an 18 year old against a guy that's going to be you know, taking the first 15 picks. But hey, man, take the train wheels off and go. Uh, they they say it's his first start, which it is technically his first start, but. He's played so much, man. Like, he played every series last week after the first series. And they started Adrian McGee. LSU went three and out, gave up a sack. And they were like, Hines, get in there. Elmo Elmo Ducks. Elmo Ducks. Okay. Nate Bumstead, what's up? Jeremy Aldridge. Kerry Montz, good morning. Charles Waltman. Kirk Taylor. Jessica Davidson. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Eight. Nine. Nine. Very good. Ten. Ten. Eleven. Eleven. Are you going to keep going? Twelve. Oh. Robert. Okay. And go to twenty. John Miller. Morgan. What's up, Morgan? Good to see you, dude. Brooke Barnett. Good morning. What's up, Brooklyn? Y'all, man. Jonathan Greer. Uh, Jason Hatcher. Good morning. Go, go Tigers and Robert, LOL. Uh, good good morning, Drew. Oh, and Matt, too. Like, I'm getting all that. But I get it. I get it. I'm, I'm good with it. Um, more Matt and Drew. Let's see. Dax, are you taking Drew to Fresh Market tomorrow? Uh, prob- he'll probably get to go today. Um, but tomorrow, I would guess for sure. You know, maybe when he wakes up from his nap. Remember the Saints play afternoon game. Can't go tomorrow afternoon. Maybe tomorrow even after the Saints play. Red. Red. Red? Red. One. 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 Walk. Robert. Walk. Oh, you want to walk. Walk. Walk? Walk. One? Red. Red. I don't know what you're saying, Punk. baby. Pug. 
Pup Boss car is red. Yes, Pup, thank you. That was a tough one. Let's see. Billy Goodson, good morning. Deborah Todd, good morning. Good to see you. Bruce Parker, Andy Bush, good to see everybody here. Uh, real quick, um, I know a lot of people are going to ask, um, uh, Braden Fajoko, bicep injury. Heard it at the end of the Georgia game. So, questionable game time decision. They'll see if he's, he did not practice Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, see if he's ready to go today. Uh, I think they need him in a big way today, man. Um, I had Greg, Greg McElroy on the show yesterday. He's calling the game today on ESPN. And he disagreed. He, he's like, yeah, I think Alexander's actually played a little bit better. Um, you know, if nothing else, there's no drop off. But I think the difference is if. Alexander's playing nose, so Hoko can play end, which is probably his better spot. Not probably, it is his better spot. Um, and more than anything, I think just numbers. Let's see, Chris Roy, I think it'll be a physical game, low scoring like Auburn and Florida. Be curious to see which team survives the fourth. I agree, Chris. I, I think it's almost a mirror image of those two games um, where, you know, it is a, a one score game late in the fourth. You know, whoever has the ball has a chance to go drive and win. Um, Cut down penalties and turnovers, all that stuff. Uh, LSU did that against Auburn and won. They did not do that against Florida. They lost. Um, that was two games on the road. Now you get this one at home. But I will say um, one big differentiator. When you look, I mean, Mississippi State statistically has been better than LSU in, in basically every category. Um, LSU has been a little, a little bit better in passing offense, but it's only like 12 yards. State average is 190, and LSU average is like 202. I mean, it's barely. But... Um, uh, Excuse me. Field goals. Special teams across the board. LSU's been much better. And I think that's, that for me, I think is the differentiator today. You know, one thing Ed said on Monday, which was so. Hey, 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 what's the matter? Hey, what, Drew, 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 what do you want? What? What, baby? Okay. Drew's got Sam. Sam. Sam is his puppet. And we're working on, you know, in therapy, they're working with him with Sam. They wanted to name it Sam because it's something harder to say. They wanted to say that. So he's, he's just standing there watching Robert. He's holding Sam. Um, but I do agree. Uh, if if uh, if game gets the fourth quarter, uh, you know, oh, the thing Ogeron said on Monday was, hey, man, just give me the 33-yard line. You get me to the 33 I know I'm getting points because of Cole Tracy. That's that's just how automatic he's been, how awesome he's been. You get to the 33, you get points, and it's that's that changes your whole approach as a coach. I mean, when you know if you get to the 33, you're getting points. I mean, that's what happened with Georgia. LSU just didn't miss kicks. I mean, think about think back to the uh, the Bama game in 11. You know, when Bama missed five field goals or whatever it was. I mean, if if it's okay, baby. What's the matter? <laughs> listen, shh. No, 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 no. Shh. Listen, we don't do that. We don't do that. Hey, listen, we don't do that. Hey, use your words. Hey, use your words, baby. Tell me what you want. You want to touch Daddy's shirt? Okay. Hi. Hi. That was very sweet. Hey, do you want, hey, do you want Elma Ducks? Or do you want ABCs? Boom. You want boom, boom, boom. It's the ants, the ants go marching. Boom, boom, boom. You want the ants go marching? Okay, I'll show you that. Okay. Okay.
Uh, Charles Waltman. Which Drew's pick? Uh, Drew would probably pick Calica. He was saying that all last night. Uh, it was funny. We had the game on. You know, you can see the Catholic High games on Channel 19 now on Fridays. And so we had the game on. And, uh, you know, Dixon says, like, touchdown, Catholic High. And Drew's just laying there going, Kaka. It was pretty funny. Uh, let's see. Morning, Morgan. Hey, man, where in the world are you, dude? It's my brother-in-law. He was deployed. Uh, watching Facebook. I guess you ain't that busy, bro. They let you watch Facebook Live in the morning, man. Uh, Jeremy Aldridge, good morning, Drew Hurst. Fred Smoot was hilarious. Oh, dude. McElroy isn't a villain. Either. See, you know, that's the thing, too. Seriously. So if you all missed AFR yesterday, Fred Smoot was our guest picker. Um, I mean, consensus first-team All-American, two-time first-team All-SEC, second-round picker of the Redskins, played a lot of years in the NFL. But the thing I knew, like, so we've gone bigger names before on guest picker. Like, we were trying to get Dak. We tried to – there's a couple others I don't want to spoil, but we're, we're trying to get – which I think will happen at some point, but didn't work yesterday. But – I had Fred already lined up for the show because I wanted to just just rap with him a little bit and have fun. I knew, like, if you go to YouTube and just Google Fred Smoot, it's the most amazing thing. Ever. Just click on any video; it's all everything is like Fred Smoot rips so and so coach. Fred Smoot on this quarterback. Fred Smoot. It like it's just he's the greatest smack talker ever, and he's just he's like a pro wrestler. He's so entertaining. I mean, he's awesome. So I knew we would get that. So what What he lacked in star power, name recognition from, you know, like the other guest pickers, he more than made up with energy, all of that stuff. He was great. And McElroy's another man. But it goes to show you, man, I know, like, people think, oh, I play quarterback at Bama. Like, you think about, you know, Bama bias or whatever. Like, when you watch Marcus Spears on the SC Network, do you think he's in, he's LSU biased in his commentary? Come on, man. It's just once I know this is hard to believe for a lot of people. When you start doing the job to do it well, you have to remove bias. Like you've got to be able to levy criticism just as well as compliments. And no matter who who the subject is, you have to remove any bias you have as best you can. Um, it doesn't mean you don't love your alma mater or anything like that, but you just you have to be able to do that, or you're not going to be good at the job because nobody's going to believe what you're saying. You lose credibility in your commentary if all you ever do is stroke the positive, you know? So anyway, but yes, they're both very good. Mark Popolis, good morning. Eric Lane, uh, I think surprised the season has to be Hines, kid is a future. Maybe Hines, no doubt, because we weren't even expecting him to play. You know, we're expecting, you know, Brumfield to be the center. We're expecting Cushenberry and Ingram to be the guards. You know, but of course, Cushenberry's had to be center, and he's been amazing. Uh, I'd say he's been the the most pleasant surprise. But Hines, for sure, having been a a defensive tackle moving to offense and now starting for sure. Um, hey, bud, Coach K, my morning smile fix. Drew will do that, man. He does it for me every day too. Uh, Scott Rodri, good morning. Philip Spathopoulos. Hi, Matt. That old chestnut. I'm back. The last time you gave Elena a shout out. Ah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope she had a great birthday, man. Good to see you. Scott Rodri, good morning. Brian Jones, good morning. Brian, do you feel better about the game today? No. I mean, don't get me wrong, Brian. I think I'm just, I picked LSU to win. I picked LSU to win before the season. I picked them to win yesterday, and I still think they're going to win. I just think it's going to be a very tense game. Like I don't see that I think legitimately I don't think Nick Marshall can th- Nick Marshall. I said that name so many times this week. Nick Fitzgerald can throw the ball consistently against LSU. But I do believe that they are going to have success running the ball. The same way that Florida, when they started running that speed option, started gashing LSU. When you have... And Fitzgerald is a more dynamic runner than Franks, for sure. And when you have that element in the game, it's tough to defend. you got to be disciplined. And if you ever miss a key... Just one. I mean, Auburn's defensive front is better than LSU's. They are. They're more. They're bigger. They're they're deeper. They're more talented. And this team ran for three fifty against them. You know, and that's a team that that knows that style of offense too. So I I I do think State's going to move the ball and score points. Um, and LSU's going to have to protect Joe Burrow. Boom! 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 
You want ant? You want ants? Okay. 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 Got these kid out and say ants. He wants to get the ants go marching. Us the ants go marching one by one. Ra ra. And he goes boom 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 boom. The ants go. So he comes. He just goes boom boom. That's what he's saying. He wants boom boom boom. That's what he wants. Now you all know that. You know how we communicate. Uh, Anthony, good morning, dude. Trivia: Matt New Bestie is former Bama quarterback. <laughs> I'll tell you this much though. Uh, P- Peter Burns is a great dude. Uh, SEC Network from Port Allen. Uh, Peter's a great guy. If if McElroy, if Peter's cool with McElroy, I'm cool with McElroy. And their families like went on vacation together uh, this summer. So um, I don't know that we're besties, but I would definitely go drink drink whiskey with the guy. Um, Mark, this game is a 13-10 field. Oh, I think it'll be more offense than that. I think it's more like a 23-20 type game. Um, but but along the lines of what you're thinking, Mark, but I do think there's going to be more offense. I hear the boss. He's here, Buck. Kelly Hunt, Trey Dykes, Ty, the wild man, Tyler D. What's up, man? Jamie, running the lakes this AM to smoot on AFR. The first ballot AFR Hall of Fame, no doubt. And I hate Kevin. Oh, Jamie, Jamie, were you one of the EA people? <laughs> That's so funny, man. Oh, God. I, I heard. I don't think I've heard from EA people in forever. I guess y'all have a pretty good team this year. Um, I wish I honestly. I wish I got to watch more than I do. I don't. I mean, I get to watch some of the Catholic games on Friday. That's what it. C. Um, I just. I just know Catholic's got a good team and they're well coached. And it was funny because I saw it was three nothing at half, EA. And then I looked and I flipped it on. And uh, and Catholic was just like score, got the ball, score. Got, I was like, it's twenty one three. I'm like, and then this kid breaks along, and I'm like, it's thirty five. Like, <laughs> oh, it's funny. Beep beep beep. 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 One, one, two, two, three, three. What are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? Boom, boom, go watch it then. Come here, banging on my stadium case. All right, Doc. Let's see. Buck, Ace, Foreman. LSU loads the box, forces the passing game. Dude, you don't under... Like, I keep hearing that. It's it's the, it's the a non... Okay. The load the box argument is a cliched argument because teams did that against LSU when they ran power. When you run power you try to stop numbers with numbers, right? Like LSU would have two tights and a fullback, so you would have 10 men in the box, including the quarterback and the halfback, and then you'd have one receiver out wide. Well, of course, you're going to bring your linebackers close and your safety in. Of course you're going to do that. And you're going to try to play, you're going to try to contain everything in a phone booth. If you, if as a offense you're content saying, I can whip you for four or five yards of carry between the tackles, which is what else you did. That's not what Mississippi State does. You can't just bring numbers in the box because Fitzgerald is a running threat. So you have a hat on a hat. You don't. It's not like you bring extra men into the box because you are man on man because the quarterback is a threat to run. When that, that's what would drive me nuts when else you would run that power toss thing. It's like as soon as, as soon if you know, you take the snap, you turn and toss. As soon as you toss the ball, the numbers change because the quarterback is completely out of the play. So now there is a number disadvantage. But when Fitzgerald has the possibility of keeping on a zone read or on an option pitch, you have like the end has to respect that. Everyone has to be sound. And you, you freeze a defense so they see where the ball goes. And then they have to react. And if you're dynamic enough to make them guess wrong or miss a tackle, it's gone. You know the play that Clyde scored in 46-yarder? Or he didn't score. The play Clyde got tackled from behind against Georgia. I mentioned Matt Wyatt's uh, X's and O's. Go, I tweeted the link. Go or on YouTube. Go Matt Wyatt Media. Look at LSU George. He breaks down that one. The the backer, um, Burrow, puts the ball in Clyde's belly. The end watches. The backer is looking this way the whole time. The whole time he's expecting Burrow to keep it around in. Well, he gives it to Clyde, and Clyde's so small, he kind of disappears in the line. The backer is still looking left. The ball's here. 
the end crashes down. Clyde mi- makes a miss. He breaks a tackle. Like the end read it right, but Clyde broke the tackle. And when he broke the tackle, that backer had read it wrong, and he's gone. Clyde ran 46, almost scored on. But it's like that's that's the difference than just power. Because on power, everyone's just crashing in the middle. So it's not it's not as easy as just saying put numbers in the box and you stop the run. It's not that easy with an offense like this. Like you've got to be gap sound, you got to be speedy to the edge, you got to be disciplined. It's it's a lot of that stuff, not just bring numbers into the box and push them around. Okay. I mean, don't you think they would have done that against Florida? Florida ran for 200 yards against them, 215. And that's Felipe Franks. It's not as easy as just saying bring numbers into the box and make him throw because that's what teams did to LSU forever because LSU wasn't dynamic running the ball. They, were, they ran power with dynamic running backs. Derek, I want to see Coach O cry. I want to know what it sounds like. That that's Fred Smoot said that yesterday on AFR. He said, so, someone sent me a jar of Ed Ogeron's tears. Was, oh, my God, it was so funny. I don't know. I guess he, he does radio. and He lives in D.C. He does radio in D.C. I messaged him last night just thanking him for coming on the show. Um, like, that guy should be a, should be making seven figures a year doing media. If, if done right, he should be making seven figures a year. There's no doubt he could be making seven figures a year. Bob Cooper. Good morning, Matt. By the way, Ryan Terrio can kick cowbells. Hey, man, you can't hate on someone just because they gave you an honest opinion. And you disagree with it. You don't like it. Elmo Ducks. Okay. You give me my workout this morning, bro. Depot. Well, you want Elmo Ducks from Elmo's car or Depot? Did you go in Elmo's car? You want Elmo Ducks? I can leave Elmo Ducks. Boy, do you want Elmo Ducks or do you want ants? That kid don't know what he wants. I hurt my neck yesterday, man. I was stretching out, like stretching, like getting ready to work out. I was going to go work out. I was going to do yoga lattes. And I just did one of those, like, good morning stretches, you know, and you just, like, Ugh. and I just, like, pulled something in my neck. Awful. Anyway. Let's see. Anthony, I think we're screwed tonight, especially for Hoko being out and coming off the win against Georgia. Anthony, I love you, dude, but you're the most negative person I know. <laughs> it don't matter what season it is. Baseball team screwed, football team screwed, basketball team screwed. <laughs> My God. Let's just, let's just wait and see how it plays. They're 6-1, and one, man. They're fifth in the country. Let's just wait and see how it goes. Stephen Beach, Leroy Blanchard. Good morning, y'all. Scott, good morning from Thibodeau. Uh, Derek, Rufus Warren, another big personality. I need to check him out then. Four, five, six, six, six. Seat. Seat. Uh, damn, I'm just getting Morgan's comment. South Carolina at the moment doing some Army training. Leave for Africa next week. Army takes weekends off. Nice. Good for you, dude. Go go play some golf in South Carolina then, man. Uh, Jason Gooch, Stephen Beach, Stephen Robeek. What's up, dude? Travis McGraw, good to see you. Ryan Broussard. What's up, everybody? Keith Scalco, Yancey Benoit, Derek Matthews. Uh, oh, that's Penny was talking about Drew last week. That's cute, man. We gotta get him back to. I say that, Stephen, man, but it's like this time of year is terrible for me, man. I just, I have, I have no social life in uh, in football season, man. Um, but as soon as football season ends, we'll all get together. Uh, Yancey, Chuck. Uh, Steven, can they stop the speed option? I hope so, man. I mean, Frank's had success doing it, but you know, I don't know how much they expected they expected that. I'll tell you this, what helps is that you know you had a week to prepare for it. Uh, the flip side of it is Mississippi State had two weeks to prepare for you, to get healthy and prepare for you. So um we'll see, man. Like this is one of those weeks where Aranda and Ensminger, bro, you go on your go on your paycheck this week. Because they had two they had two weeks to out scheme you. Um, so what wrinkles can you throw in that they haven't seen before? Um, we'll see, man. I'm excited to see it. I think it's going to be a good game tonight. I think it's going to be a fun game tonight. Uh, Jason, good morning, Scone. This game stresses me out. The game in Gainesville leaves a lingering taste. We'll be out physical on the lines again. Mana, mana, mana. Don't you do that. Poo-poo. Poo-poo? you got to stop saying that in front of people. 
Are you? Dad, dad, car. Dad, dad, car. Dad, dad does have a car. Matt Taylor. Miss Taylor. And Ethan. Ethan and Ethan. Ethan and John. And, and who else? John Paul. John Paul. John Paul. And Pete? John Paul. John Paul. And John Paul. John Paul. Drew John Paul. You being silly, kiddo. Drew goes to gym to like special gym. It's called Beyond Gymnastics. Uh, it's good for socialization and just getting them to do different activities and stuff. And there's there it's three little boys. It's Drew, and then he said. So we always say we're gonna go to gymnastics and see Miss Taylor, who's the teacher. Say Miss Taylor and Ethan and John Paul. And so he says, Matela and Eva and John Paul. Like he does with the whole inflection and everything. Okay. You bring in Sam? You going to show everybody Sam? Mana, mana. Mana, mana. You got Sam? Sam's kind of creepy looking, bud. Okay, I know. You want to see the phone. Okay, you can see it. I know. Dad show. This is Dad show. Very good, Drew. This is Dad's show. We talk to the people who really just watch to see you. I'm all right with it. I am, seriously. Why are we all watching? I'm good with it. Um, Jason, will we be out physical again? Um, you know what, man? I, I think LSU, you know, Ed will always want to play a physical style. Um, but you know what? Like, Mentioned against Auburn, like, you know, Auburn, LSU was, was exposed a bit against Auburn, um, but they won the game. And then the same thing happened against Florida, but they lost because they turned the ball over. Boom, boom, boom. And they turned the ball over and committed too many penalties. Um, uh, and then the thing about last week, man, I know we talked about it a bunch this week, but can't get over, you know, Elijah Holyfield rushing for eight yards of carry and uh, DeAndre Swift rushing for six yards of carry. And I think, that's why I say, man, I think LSU just flat out coached Kirby and Jim Chaney and Mel Tucker. I mean, I just can't believe they abandoned the run as early as they did because uh, there, were, there were plays there to be had. So we'll see, man. Um Oh, real quick. Oh, right, so a few things. We'll come back to the rest of your comments. Boudreaux's Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary Mix Margarita Mama. Mix. Y'all get by Calandro's Mama this morning. Car. Mama's car. Depot. Depot. Calandro's, Alexander's, Calvin's. Go pick it up. A Canada's down in Homa. Go pick up some Boudreaux's if you're heading out to your tailgate or your game watch party. Be a huge help. Or just order it online, boudreaux'smix.com. Uh, morningscone.com. Please sign up for the daily email, morningscone.com. Uh... Locked On LSU, my daily LSU podcast, part of the Locked On Network. Amazing, man. They're top 100. Locked On is top 100 podcast in the, in the world. Uh, the network is. So uh, more than 3 million uh, downloads. Um, I can't remember that's per day or per month. I think it's per month. Anyway, uh, so y'all go check out. Lock. It's about 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes. So um, think of AFR condensed into 20 minutes. Uh, it's kind of the, the way I try to do that. So... Um, uh, what else do I have to tell y'all? Hey, bud. Seat. Seat. One other tidbit that I think is... We'll talk about this today on pregame with T-Bob. No, sir. Um, I think... What do you want? Dad show. Dad show? Dad show. We are doing dad show. Dad, dad, car. Well, we'll go for a ride in dad, dad's car after dad show. How about that? <coughs> Bless you. Bless you. Who is that you're playing with? Sam, Sama. Sama. Sam, Sam, Sama. Sama. Sama does sound like Frema. Fresh Market. Um, so, one thing, I mentioned this yesterday on AFR, um, but keep this in mind. LSU is one of the fastest starting teams in the country. Uh, 63 points in the first quarter, 77 in the second. LSU is averaging just under 20 points in the first half of games this year. They're averaging at like 19 point, 19 and change in, in the first half of games this year. Mississippi State is allowing three points 
in on average in the first half. State this fewest in the country, best in the country. They've allowed one first half touchdown all year. That was Kentucky scored a touchdown in the second quarter against them. LSU's whole strategy is get a lead, make teams play catch up, and attack. Like that's been LSU's mo, uh, and it's worked. They've been able to control the game, the tempo, the field position, the pace, the clock, everything because they've had they've been playing with a lead. Let's see if LSU gets behind. Uh, if they have to play catch up, how that changes the dynamic. But also, we saw that at Auburn in the second half. They they got behind and came back. Um, well, I guess in the second quarter. LSU got a lead, then Auburn came back. But um, uh, let's see if LSU is able to get a lead on State, make State play from behind. Because I do agree, if LSU gets a lead and you get deep in the third quarter and then State feels like they're you know two scores down, then they have to start throwing the ball a little bit. That's how you can maybe make Nick Fischel make a mistake. Um there you go. Derek Thomas at State runs three wide receiver sets, so loading the box will leave man on man. That's not a good idea. Actually, I do think that's a good idea. I think it, because I do think LSU's corners can win one on ones with State's wide receivers. But but even still, if you're man on man, that means you've got eight in the box. You're not stacking the box. You know what I mean? Um, Matthew Shelley, can we see more of Delpit off the edge? I think you absolutely will see more of Delpit off the edge. Uh, playing play the run, you will definitely see Grant Delpit play the run. It would not surprise me at all if your leading tacklers today are, you know, Dev, of course, Devin White and Jacob Phillips because that's just how the defense is built. And then Delpit because I think he's going to play a ton near the line. Um, let's see. A.J. Holland, those alternate jerseys, just a one-and-done thing. Would they ever put in the rotation? No, one-and-done. Um, I'm sure they'll sell them all. Uh, hang on one sec, y'all. I think I figured out how to pause this thing. Hey, y'all, don't go anywhere. I'm going to be back. Just give me a minute. We still there, y'all? Should be. Are we still there? I think we should be still there. We're still there, huh? Oh, we're still there. Good. I see your thumbs up. We're live, right? Yeah, we're live. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Okay. Okay, here we go. I had to pull over when he said that. You know the Tigers know how to handle a dog, right? Ask George, they will tell you. Put another top. Bama roll toilet paper better. Enjoy number one spot. That's really a run on Mark. Hey, what are you doing? Stop, Bubba. That's really loud. Kenneth, good morning. Craig Pullman, Chris Vanessa Mesh Domain, good morning. Game on ESPN. Yes, ESPN Television. Brian, good morning. Scone, the state's team rush off and scares me how they slow them down. Good question, man. Um, you want to know how they do it? Devin White has 20 tackles today. That's kind of it, man. You just got to, you got to. You've got to meet, boom, 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 boom. Got to meet Nick Fitzgerald in the hole, bro. And, and don't and don't let him, don't let Nick Fitzgerald get six yards of pop. Obama. Say hi, everybody. Hey, go watch uh, the ants go marching. Go watch the ants go marching. Share this to the ESPN page. See if we can build this audience back up. Hang on. Sorry about that, y'all. Hey, yo, 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 yo. Hey, listen, listen. It's okay. Daddy will hold you. Okay, let's answer some questions. Shh, shh. Hey, listen, 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 listen. Hey, listen to me. Everybody loves you, but they don't want to hear you be a fussy face, okay? They want to hear sweet Drew. Dad, dad, what? Call, call, dad, dad, call. We will, hey, listen, after dad's show, we'll go in dad's car, okay? Mm-hmm. We'll go for a ride in dad's car, and later you'll go to gymnastics, and you'll see Miss Taylor, and Ethan, and 
John Paul. Okay? That's better. That's better. I want a sweet Drew, not fussy Drew. Okay? Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 The ants go monkey. Okay, go watch Boom, Boom, Boom. Go watch the ants. <laughs> we gotta talk to these people, Drew. Let's see. Someone asked Matt, what's your expectation? Hey, shh, 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 shh. We do not fun. No, thank you. Okay, you can sit on my lap, baby. Matt Taylor. Miss Taylor and Ethan, Ethan and John Paul. John Paul. Boo boo. Boo boo. I love you. Would you stop fussing, please? Nobody wants to see you. <laughs> hey, listen. Listen, shh, 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 shh. We don't want to fuss, okay? You want that? I'll hold you, baby. That's fine. You can I'll hold you, but I'm not going to let you fuss in my ear. Sam just looks like he just crawled out of the Sam, Sam's a creepy puppet. Okay, we're not, we're not doing it. You're not, you're not going to sit on me and just fuss. So if you're going to fuss, you're going to sit over here by yourself. Homie, don't play that. I ain't gonna put you right by my ear just to let you fuss in my ear. I don't need a close-up view of that. No thanks. Trivia. Everyone listen. Else you got embarrassed last year by state. They will play with revenge in their heart. They will destroy state motivation by halftime. Okay. State's really good. Uh, Justin McMillan will start for Tulane. Good, good, uh, good for him, man. Good luck to him. I mean, I'm serious. I hope he does well. Good kid. Um, Joe Burrow is the man. That's the guy who won't leave my team. I agree with that, man. I like his moxie. Um, Pelicans win again. Mark, they're off to an impressive start, man. I hope they keep it rolling. Just 80 more to go. Uh, Mississippi State gives me the upset Willies. Uh, LSU trap game tonight. I don't think it's a trap game because I don't think they're overlooking them. Um, I just think State's really good. I think that's the problem. It's like they're just a good team that's capable of beating you. Um, just like Auburn, just like Florida. It's not... I, I don't believe in like the emotional aspect of this game. I just think that state's really good. They present some matchup problems. Uh, so we'll talk about all that. Pre Eagle Night Eight One Game Day, me and T Bob starting at one o'clock. So hopefully y'all will listen. Uh, Eagle, ESPN, or watch us. Um, appreciate that. Ryan, any word on Shelvin or Fogo? Yeah. So there, uh, Shelvin did practice this week, and and he's been working on a few of the rotations. So I think you will. I do think you will see Tyler Shelvin today, even for a handful of snaps. Fajoko, big question mark. I mentioned earlier, Fajoko is a bicep injury. So injured at the end of the Georgia game. Um, and he didn't practice Wednesday or Thursday. And it's, he's going to be game time decision. Just see if he feels up up for, for giving it a go. I remember a few years back, who was the LSU defensive lineman? War number 95, Thomas. Uh, Quentin Thomas. Do you remember him? Same thing happened in fall camp. He tore his bicep, and normally that's season-ending. I don't know if Ahoko tore his, but normally it's season-ending, and they thought they announced Quentin Thomas was done for the year. Well, they just kind of treated it, and he just felt good enough to play. It was almost like a, a miracle, like literally. Like people with that injury, it should be so painful that you can't play, and he played the whole season with it. He wore a strap, and that was it. So we'll see. Um uh, Grant, what's up, Matt? Want to see your boy, Doctor? Oh, Doctor Hal Friday, Cow- cowboy boots with the scrub sold me. <laughs> I'm all in. Yeah, they're great, man. It's aesthetic medicine, eighth aging clinics. I'm glad you went in there, Grant. Great people. I was there yesterday. Too. I was there yesterday morning. Uh, they're about to move to uh, in- into the new building. So if you're driving down Blue Bonnet, um, if you know where the Brewbockers is on Blue Bonnet, like if you're coming from Perkins toward Highland, it's on like you pass Brewbockers on your left. It's the next building. It's gorgeous, man. God, it's so pretty. Pretty. It's the old Iron Horse building over there. They bought it and they gutted it and renovated. It. It's so cool. Um, Ryan Bruce our Grant Plus. This is in here. Um, hey, Uncle Benny. Good morning. Uh, let's see. Did CHS win last night? Yes, they did. Thirty-five to three. Brett Villar, will they assign Delper White to Fitz? I don't think Aranda does that. He doesn't, like, I've never seen Aranda just assign a shadow where you just follow him. So I don't think they're going to do that. Um, 
Chris, what was LSU's take on being fine for fans going on the field? They prepared for 250K when we beat Bama. Uh, it's it's not the money. Um, you know, it's funny. I had a conversation with someone Thursday at LSU, and they said, look, man, because they it's it, it, you wouldn't know it unless you had these conversations, but like how they review everything from game day operations, security protocols, everything. So they went back and they were looking at video of everyone coming onto the field. Um and what's crazy? It's like if that happens, it, he even told me it's like it's not it's not the fun, like it's not the money. Oddly enough, it's it's not the money, but like there were some really bad spots people got in trying to jump the fence, where you have this you know wave of humanity coming down, and if you don't get over the fence and the wave comes, like he said, there was a couple of like really touchy moments where people were. Like super close to getting really seriously hurt. Um, it's like it almost been better if people just like that's why they opened the gates. It was like they were letting people through the gates. Like if you want to go, just go through the gate, you know, on the field. Not boom, boom, boom. You know, so I think that's their big. Like obviously they put you know armed personnel around the goalposts because you you know one's ripping that goalpost anymore. It's just that that proposition of the goalpost falling and potentially falling on someone is just devastating so it's more it's it's less the money it's more safety seat because I mean could you imagine like if if you're the school where someone storms the field and there's a like a a devastating injury or or a death I mean so I get it man that's that's their trepidation Um, it's not it's not the fine it's it's very much a safety thing. I had that very clearly explained to me this week because I was saying I, could, I was on air going, "I'll let them have their memories." I didn't know one, um, which is true. Um, but yeah. Anyway, let's see. Okay, good. I'm just back to the comments where we came back. Dax, just, this game scares me more than Georgia. Wish this team had a thumper like Darrell Williams or Charles Scott. I, I agree with you on that. It's funny, man. I was talking to somebody on staff last before Georgia, and they and they, and this is something I would obviously never say on air or anything like that. But they're like, you know what? We, like, it said the same thing. It's like we're we're less concerned about the, meaning Georgia this game than next week meaning Mississippi State. Um, uh, Chris, how's our recruiting class looking for next year? Good. I think they're number seven in the country. Nineteen commits. They lost a commit this week. Uh, from Marcus Banks out of the Houston area cornerback, but they got four cornerbacks committed. Looking good. Ne- they need a big time running back. They need another big time running back. Um, Jake Butler, Paul O'Neill, <laughs> happy for my boy. Paul's gonna be an awesome addition, man. We're fired up to have him. He and I were texting last night. Paul's new video producer on AFR, by the way, for those that don't know. Um, so he- Paul will do uh, the job on AFR that Tony's been doing. So Tony's gonna do Hester and do some night stuff on 98.1 uh, and they're going to move Paul into into, uh, in, into produce uh, video produce AFR <laughs> sweet Drew is greater than fussy face Drew uh, Matt doesn't do recruiting he ain't got time for that that's true Scott I don't um, I mean I know I know like the I know the big picture snapshot but if you're going to ask me you know how how are they looking with that four star corner from Mamu I Hey, <laughs> what? What is, <laughs> what is that? Can you fix my camera, please? Thank you. Well, not quite. Poo poo. Why do you keep saying poo poo? Poo 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 poo. Okay, you almost got it framed again. It's close. Uh, let's see. Chris said I was hoping Chris Curry would get a few more carries. Hey, Chris, I've talked about that a bunch. I talked about it in the, in the fall. I talked about it or in the summer. And nobody wanted to listen to this when I said it. I was called a hater and this and that. We're talking about running backs. F- true freshman running backs seldom make an impact. Only... Maurice Claret, Leonard Fournette, uh, 
it, those types of backs show up on campus as a tr- Cam Akers, as a true freshman, and make an impact. It's just a different game when you're the biggest, baddest dude on your high school campus and you got five, eight, 180 pound linebackers running you down, and now you've got six four two forty Jacob Phillips who runs a four four running you down. It's a different world, bro. Like it's hard for eighteen year old running backs to step on a college campus and make an impact. So, I mean, especially when your game is being physical. So, I'm not saying Curry will never be a good running back, but it's just that give me the. Give me the the twenty two year old senior and and you know and Clyde who's been around been through the strength program like give me those guys who've been around a little more. That's why they desperately because you're losing Brissett next year. You all have Clyde. That's why you desperately need one of those big five star dudes and come in and supplement you. Uh, tri- trivia. Matt Drew's the star of the show. How are you going to tell the star what he want? <laughs> that was a good point. Uh, Mike, uh, watching live in Tampa. What up? What up, Mike? Appreciate that. Mike, you live in Tampa. You can buy Boudreaux at boudreauxmix.com. Get it shipped to you, dog. I appreciate it. 80 more goes to <laughs> Mark Allen. 80 games to go. There went my coffee. Um, <laughs> I'm glad y'all enjoyed it. Hey, look, and after the Pelicans play, I think they play on Tuesday. Um, He's gonna ask me about it. I'm gonna go. Just 79 to go. We'll do the same thing. Scooter Morris, Sean Nolan. Good morning. Uh, Saints Ravens game of the week. Got a chance to be number one offense, number one defense. I'm excited about it. Craig Shreveport here. Where besides BR you watch? Oh, lots of people all over. Craig, by the way, BoudreauxMix.com. Get it. And wherever you shop up there in Shreveport, make, demand that they carry Boudreaux. That would be helpful. Heath Lanier. Good morning. Uh, Jimmy the Dream, what's up? What? Walk? Hey, after Dad's show, do you want to go for a ride in Dad's car? We're going to get dressed and go for a ride in Dad's car. And? Sean Paul. John Paul. Here you go. Matthew Miller, I don't like the matchup for LSU, to be honest, but I'm taking LSU big anyway. I would not take LSU big, but I would take LSU to win. And I've told you before, I think it's Cole Tracy is the difference. I think State's kicker is about 63% on the year, and Cole Tracy's missed two kicks, both were 54 yards. Like, And they were dead on accurate. He just hit the crossbar. So if it comes down to just getting points late, I'll take LSU. Boom, 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 boom. You want boom, boom, boom? You want ants go marching? We're almost done, Drew. Almost done with that show. Okay, bud. I know, right? A little dude. All right, a few more. Wesley Bourgeois, what's up? Craig, have good friends from Carthage drive down for every game. Jason Bourgeois. Increase in enrollment fees to pay the fine. I'm t- it's, it's not, the, it's not the money. Uh, Mark, if LSU beats Bama, everything's going. I'm telling you, they're not getting the goalposts. There's no way. They're putting uniform police officers around the goalposts now. They started that in 2001. <clears throat> Chewy, any news on Emory, the running back committed to Georgia? <clears throat> I'll ask Shay about him today on game day, but um, I read a. a you know, when I prep around the SEC every day for AFR, I go and I read the papers for all of the schools in the SEC. And there was a piece at um, in the Georgia paper <clears throat> um, where they had an interview. I think the 247 guys maybe had an interview with John Emery. And he said basically the game didn't change anything. So he seems all in on Georgia. Michael, uh, possibility of the Tigers overlooking Mississippi State. Don't see it. Talk, talked about it a lot this week. Uh, Ed's been really good in these spots, um, and the way you lost last year to this team, I just don't see it. I heard they were actually airing this game like on loop in the football building all week. So from last year, I mean, so I, I think it's very fresh in, in their minds that they got dominated. Michael Cooper, how about Saints going up against? Put, put. 
Hmm? A what? Why do you keep saying poo poo? Do you have poo poo? See, if I say that, and then you're going to get upset. Hey, you have poo poo? See, he gets upset. Hey, no, okay, listen. No, you don't. No, you don't. Okay, okay. Shh, hey, listen, shh, shh. Hey, listen, 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 listen. Listen, daddy's almost done with his show. And when, when daddy's done with his show, we're going to go get dressed and go for a ride in Dada's car. What do you think about that? You want to go for a ride in Dada's car? What do you think? Dada's car. Yep, Dada's car. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, Seth Scott, do they ship Boudreaux's overseas watching in Turkey? That's awesome, Seth. Thanks, man. Appreciate that very much. What are you doing in Turkey? One. Two, two, three. That's very sweet. I love you. Uh, Why are you holding my watch? Uh, Seth, you can try. I'm sure you will. Biscuits or scones? Biscuits. As much as, as odd as it is to say that, because this is more than scone. I just, I'm not a big, I'm actually not a big scone fan. I don't like the, uh, the tech. I don't like a, a, a hard, pa I prefer a soft pastry, a biscuit, uh, a croissant, a muffin. Dad, dad's car. Dad, dad's car. Okay, we're gonna, hey, let's go get dressed. We're gonna say goodbye. Let's say let's say bye to everybody. Let's say bye everybody, and then we'll go for a ride in dad, dad's car. Can you say bye? Can you say bye? Nine. Hmm. Ten. Nine ten. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Fixed his pant leg. That was cute. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Shout out from Dallas. What kind of car? Uh, Eric could say uh, Volkswagen CC from South Point Volkswagen. What's your direction? Um, shout out from Jonesboro, Arkansas. Very cool. Uh, Nathan, LSU O-line going to hold off state seed line. What do you think? I think... I think Joe Burrow better get rid of the ball quick because I think you got a bigger challenge on your hand than you did against Florida. Uh, Matt, if LSU wins tonight, how much of a chance you give him against Bama? Hey, man, every every team, every LSU team that's played Bama since 2008, actually, one of those six, they got blown out in 04. Go back to those six. Like, just in the Saban era. The games have Baton Rouge been close. 08 went to overtime. LSU won in 2010. A 12 was the Eldon game that LSU had one. 14 went to overtime. 16 was 10 nothing. It was nothing nothing to enter in the fourth. I mean, they got of course they got a shot. Talented people at home, tons of emotion. T two weeks to get ready. Hell yeah. Oh, deployed in the Air Force. Appreciate that, man. Thank you for your service. For sure, man. Thanks for watching. That's what everyone said. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, uh, Chewy. Uh, one more for the just it's for Hoko playing. Uh, one more time, Fahoko, bicep injury, hurt it at the end of the Georgia game, did not practice Wednesday or Thursday, questionable. They're going to make a game-time decision. Don't know if he's going to play, but game-time decision. I hope he does, man. They need him. Okay, let's say goodbye to everybody. Boudreaux, y'all, get you some Boudreaux, boudreauxmix.com. Boom, boom. I'm going to go take him for a ride in the car. Um, morningscone.com, please uh, download and subscribe to the Locked On LSU podcast, However, you, how, whatever platform you listen to podcasts, Locked On LSU, Monday through Friday, uh, yours truly host, think of AFR, condensed to about 20, 25 minutes, um, really appreciate it if you download it, I'm super duper competitive, and look out, full disclosure, boom, boom, boom. The, I just started mine this week. The guy who has the, the number one... The guy who has the number one podcast in the Locked On College is uh, Josh Ward. Does a really good job. He's the Tennessee guy. He, he does radio in, in Tennessee. Um, and jo the, the Locked On Vols is the number one college podcast in the Locked On series. And I want to crush him. I'm... So super competitive, I want to crush him. So um, help me crush him. Locked on LSU, please go download it. Subscribe to it, rate it, please help. Okay, we'll see y'all on Eagle 981 game day today. One, me and T-Bob. 
Okay, Drew, let's go for a ride in the car. 